okay, so you're like, all right, um, this is great, but this is so much info and what the heck do I do now? I know like when I signed up to coach, I was like, but I just need someone to tell me what to do. So you're ready to go and you're like, what do I do? Tell me if I'm right. Okay, so um, like I said, when I signed up, I was like, I just need someone to tell me what to do. So I know that there's lots of information. It can be kind of overwhelming, but I hate that word and you're gonna take it out of your vocabulary because that's a choice to feel that way. Um, it just means that you're blessed with tons of resources and training and you should feel grateful for that. So um, the one thing that, you know, like I said, you are going to want to know what to do and then you just need to take action. I asked my coach, what do I do? She told me and I did it. So that's exactly what I want you guys to do right now is I want you to take action. So don't get overwhelmed with all the information and all the trainings that are in the team pages and in, you know, um, all these things because I know that there's a lot of stuff, but don't get distracted by all of that. What you need to do is you just need to take action. You don't need to learn everything right away. You don't need to know every little detail of how to run this business and you know every single program we offer and all of that. You're going to learn as you go. And so know that you know we are very blessed to have such an incredible team full of so many trainings and resources from literally the top coaches in the network. Um, we're blessed to have that, but you don't need to know everything to start. So don't let that hold you back from starting because you're gonna learn as you go. It's just like riding a bike, right? You can read the manual to ride a bike 10 times. You can go watch a YouTube video on how to ride a bike, but if you don't start riding the freaking bike, and you're probably gonna fall, but you get back up and you keep going till you learn how to do it. So that's exactly how this business is gonna go. It's just like any other job you would start, you know? They don't expect you to know everything right away. You just start and you learn as you go. You kind of fake it till you make it. And if you really don't know the answer, like there's tons of resources for you to find it. You can ask your coach, you can post on the team page, you can Google it, you can check the FAQs, but really don't let that hold you back from starting. Learn as you go and start now. So this is what I want you to do today, right now, today, is I want you to make a new coach post where you're gonna announce that you have become a coach and how excited you are. So what I want you to do with this is I want you to tell a story. I don't want you to just be like, hey, I signed up to be a Beachbody coach, join my challenge group. Like, that's not what we're doing. I want you to tell a story and connect with people. So, you know, how you felt before you signed up to be a coach. How were you feeling? Maybe you were a challenger already and you got incredible results and you fell in love with the products and the programs, then you can share about that. Um, or if you, this is the first, you know, you've never been a part of a challenge group and you're just now starting right now, then share about, you know, where you've been to this point, like maybe what you've struggled with and why you're so excited to be a part of this. So share about that. And then what I want you to do is use a picture of you. Don't post like a motivational quote. People want to see you. That's why they're following you. So post a sweaty, uh, like workout selfie, a cute photo, a cute selfie of you, or if you have a transformation, post a transformation photo. If you're really brave, do a before photo. Um, make sure it's just a pic, a good picture of you. And then what I want you to do is make sure you're not name dropping. So I'll talk about this in the social media training, but I want to make sure that you guys are using curiosity marketing. So you're not saying, hi, I'm a beach body coach. You're saying I'm a health and fitness coach. And, um, you are not, you know, using program names. Like I'm doing 80 day, I just signed up for this 80 day obsession. Like no one knows what that is. And if they want to know, they're just going to go Google it and buy it. And then they don't get you. They don't get a coach. They don't get the accountability. They don't get the, the community, the support, which is what the key to success is and what we have to offer that no one else has to offer. So we don't want to miss out on helping people because we're, you know, just name dropping everything where they can go get it themselves. So don't, you know, say Beachbody or say Transform 20 or say those things. Leave the curiosity, like I call my pre-workout unicorn crack. So come up with fun names, like my mom, mommy go-go juice or my crack juice, like whatever you wanna say. 
come up with names, my superfood shake, my I'm doing an 80 day program, I'm doing a 20 minute step program um, to leave that curiosity for people and so that they don't miss out on the community and the accountability that we have to offer because that's the most incredible part about this. Um, and then I want you to be posting on your Instagram stories and I know you're like probably like what? And I want you to start posting right away on your Instagram stories and I suggest five to ten stories a day uh, and on there I want you to be I want you to know that a you are you are interesting like I work from home full-time now and I freaking sit in this chair all day not all day but like for hours and work and you have a way more interesting life than me probably you probably go to work or school or you have kids or whatever so you're interesting and you have a life to share and people want to get to know you so share your daily life you know you're so much more than just a health and fitness coach share you know share a couple workout clips so people know what you're doing but then also share your passions if you love disney if you love harry potter if you love dogs and you're a dog mom if you have kids share that if you have a spouse share about that if you go to work share about that like if you go to school share about that whatever you know if you food cooking like share your daily life share all of those things with people that's how you build the trust and the connection with them and then you need to be sh you need to be consistent i'm gonna say it over and over and over until you are like blue in the face you literally you just have to be consistent so it's gonna by you posting on your stories every day that's gonna show that you're consistent and that you're consistent with what you're doing and that's how people are gonna see you transform over time and get to be a part of the journey with you so post that coming out post your assignment is literally your assignment right now what I want you to do right now is go make your coming out post like today unless it's midnight or something but go make your coming out post and share it with your coach tag your coach in it send it to them and then go post on your stories and if you're scared to post on your stories like share a workout clip or whatever but I promise you it just gets easier as you do it but you need to get on there and talk and you know build a relationship with people through your personality. So I want you to take action right now. Let's do it.